Hello my dear student, how are you? I hope you are all safe at all. And today I am here to uh, discuss about your book name is management second paper and our um, chapter what that already we have completed uh, the chapter number 10 that is controlling and uh, you know that we have completed two class that is uh, one class is MCQ question formation and solution and another is uh, creative question solution so today I want to uh, discuss I want to uh, learn you a easy way to answer the creative question and uh, you know that in the creative question who are going to answer the creative question they uh, think that uh, if I write uh, so many um, pages then I will not get um, 10 out of 10. For them I want to say that if you have confident if you have um, uh, confident to uh, write all the point the stage 1, stage 2, stage 3, stage 4 if you answer and stage 1 it means the knowledge question in the knowledge questions if you have uh, the correct answer then you will get on so uh, similarly if you uh, maintain all the section of the answer um, the creative question then you can get 10 out of 10 so today come and watch my lecture then you will understand that actually how you can get 10 out of 10 of creative question solution okay now um, let's start our uh, class and um, uh, forming a creative questions and make solution of that so um, you can uh, see your creative questions that is presented on your screen and um, if I read it uh, then you can it will be fixed up there um, the, the fixed cost of Onuradha group is taka 60,000 okay is taka 60,000 the se selling price and variable cost of the unit 20 taka and 15 taka respectively to implement the plan the uh, Onuradha group of ma groups managing director uh, Plank Pulak Babu confirmed that the company would pay the dividends to the employees and with their business uh, bonuses. As a result, the employees are able to achieve their goal, goal to be at an asset. So uh, now you can see that uh, this is a steam in the safe steam i hope in the fixed uh, fixed cost um, uh, uh, here is given um, uh, 60000 it will be 70000 it will be correct uh, correction here it will be the fixed fixed cost will be 70000 okay it will be 70000 because here it's wrongly written there okay uh, then um, the, our questions what are the associate questions uh, of the steam related to the steam so you if I say in the first questions of the chapter uh, of the um, uh, creative question is the knowledge question which is what is Gantt chart you know that what is Gantt chart okay and second questions controlling control or controlling is an endless process explain endless process it thinks that it, continuous process okay uh, so we have to um, uh, d explain it and number third question determine how many single product how many single product means how many products of on other group will be sold to the stimulator without any profit or loss it means that how many uh, unit of the product uh, that will m cover up all the um, the expenses of the companies. It means uh, what is the break-even unit of the Honorada group. That will be the answer. And number fourth, that D number question here is said that 
what is the main reason behind the achieving goal uh, and analyze in the light of a stimulus. So if you see that here, the first question, first question here is what is GAN chart? GAN chart is, you know that GAN double T chart, C is A R T, GAN chart. GAN chart is a chart which is actually um, uh, the invented by the Henry Lawrence Gantt and Henry Lawrence Gantt he uh, in, invented or um, uh, uh, planted this uh, uh, theories and you know that the Gantt chart uh, is a chart where showing the end of each task has the work by showing when is work has started and when it will be end this time and how long time it will take to be end and it is showing with a chart that is called Gantt chart. You know that we have uh, um, discussed about uh, in our cl uh, class time what is Gantt chart. So Gantt chart we can say that the figure that uh, the Gantt chart is a figure that Henry L. Gantt has um, shown to control what the work by showing when his work and when his work is started and when it will be end and what a stage of the work um, uh, will be um, uh, executed. So it's called Gantt chart. So you have uh, already known that here is uh, uh, what is Gantt chart. Now uh, coming to the B question number B. Uh, question number B is controlling is endless process. How to describe it? You, uh, you have to know that in these questions there are two part one part is knowledge another part is um, um, yeah, another part is the other other part and the two parts you have you know that the two parts is the two marks for the two marks you have to apply what is the knowledge question here what is the knowledge question is you have to find out what is endless process with, how can we define the endless process system? We know that process has hot. The interrelated uh, methods who are uh, interrelated and so, uh, after uh, serially it will be uh, the methods will be performed. That is called the process. So we can say that process by which the work is started once and continued in harmony with the other work in harmony with the other work it is endless process or continuous process. So do you understand the work which is started and continued with the relation or related with or with the um, um, other task related with other tasks with the link with other task that is called uh, continuous process. That is uh, endless process and continuous process are same. So there is no dif uh, differentiate and there is no separate, uh, any separate uh, ideas. So now coming to uh, endless process, what is relations with the control? So if I see, if you look at the scheme, that times you can uh, see where the same uh, answer you, you will find in the uh, color below, at the below passes. If you look at this passes at the um, uh, last passes, you can see that throughout the control is the timeless task. It is a continuous and endless process whether the work goes um, according to the plan, the control goes, work goes keeping on peace and there's, this is why we can say that the controlling is an endless process. Controlling is an endless process, this is why because the controlling activities is the last activities or last function of the management. So if the plan is again done, then you have to know that after the, um, the um, uh, five stages, after the seven, six stages, um, at that time the, again the controlling will come. Because controlling means that it is the compare, comparison um, the, with the plan. So if the plan is again, again, um, the, the, if the uh, management cycle do you know that what the management cycle means? Management all the activities is repeated again and again. So that is why the uh, uh, controlling activities also it will be uh, performed again and again. So uh, I think say, you have uh, uh, um, uh, get a proof that um, uh, this uh, controlling process is an endless and con um, uh, continuous process.
Now coming to the uh, third question, that is the uh, third question, it is very um, mathematical questions. There was a mathematical question, here is the fixed cost is um, how much it was uh, 70,000. Uh, 70, now ma our math is, it's not math, now coming to the fixed cost is this and SV equals cell value. Here is the cell value we will discuss about cell value is 20. Okay, and the, um, the variable cost means uh, the variable cost is 15. So, our uh, math it will be the here is the demand that in the question that how much you need if they sell, then they will cover up their all the expenses. It means that at the point it will be the loss and profit will be zero. So, um, there is BEP, BEP unit, if I count it, unit equal FC divided by SB minus BC equal, what is FC? Here is FC is uh, 70,000 and there is uh, um, uh, another 20, the cell value 20 and minus 15. It, it will it will be how much it will be 70,000 divided by 5 it means 14,000 so if the Anuradha group sell 14,000 unit they will cover up their all this expenses so uh, there no profit no loss it is break even point now coming to our um, third uh, fourth questions what is the D number question in the two number questions, you can see your uh, side line or in your side screen, you can see it. There is the um, uh, questions that is the what is the reason, the reason behind um, uh, achieving the goal by the, um, the uh, worker. So it is very clear because there is given the dividends and along with the bonuses. So it dividends and uh, bonuses, if it is um, uh, offered to the employees and by that the employees are being uh, active to get their goal so then it is clear that it is talking about the motivation because these two terms is related to the financial ways of motivation so that is why we can say that this is um, motivation okay so uh, the, our knowledge question is motivation and then come uh, you have to know that and you have to give the definitions of the motivation because we are at the stage of uh, four so that is why we have to discuss about the motivation so motivation is a process by which uh, um, uh, uh, the incentive process or incentive system motivation is incentive system well, uh, with money and financial oppor opportunity is called financial incentive and the bonus is also one type of financial um, uh, incentive that will um, uh, make the employees uh, speedy to get the work and now coming to our uh, 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 now it is the bonus are effective to way to get the uh, motivation employees and they're considered because uh, you know that the motivations and the dividends it is very um, similar to get um, the work done through the worker so uh, it is uh, definitions now coming to our uh, the next um, uh, skin you can see that the next skin is uh, what is the relation with the topics and definitions of motivation definitions of motivation here is as uh, said the financial um, uh, ways to get uh, motivation and next is um, uh, where we can see the uh, financial um, the incentives what are financial incentive is bonus financial incentive is the uh, dividends so that is why we can say that in the stimulator uh, in the steam what are the um, uh, way what are the terms is used to motivate the worker that's all are related to the financial incentive of the mot uh, motivation process so now it is financial uh, incentive or financial so as to get um, to uh, make employees motivated. Now coming to uh, the end, um, the evaluations that is made by you, that is the fourth stage of the, um, the D, D number question. 
So in the D number question, we can say that the motivation increase morale as well as the skill which plays uh, plays an important role in the organization. So financial incentives are so strong because you know that non-financial um, incentive is not work as the financial incentives works to get motiv motivated of the worker. So that is why it's work directly and the non-financial motivations works indirectly. So that is why it was very easy. So it can be said that stimulus organization or in the stimulator organization has been able to um, achieve their goal uh, due to the financial incentive. So I hope uh, you have understood all the, um, the what I want to uh, make you understand. Uh, so um, that this is all. It is the solution and it is the answer of the creative questions that we um, that I wanted to make you um, easy to them. If you want to uh, make sure this uh, all the topics and all the related uh, part is completed, then you can get. 10 out of 10. So thank you everybody. I hope you have uh, um, learned so many things from this and uh, wait for the next lecture video.